Hello my friends, another video for me with a topic that close that actually just started to become more important to me because I'm currently leading or doing a, the alternative military service slash community service in Switzerland. Uh, we still have the um, obligatory military service and if you don't want to do it you do the community service for 13 months and I've done some in 2012 and I'm doing now more again uh, and so it's giving me a lot of insight into the uh, regular work life that a lot of people are leading on this life and uh, on this planet and that means working 42 hours a week usually more uh, because lunch break is not counted so you're actually 47 hours at work and that's not counted over time which a lot of people do which is like 50 hours 60 hours so with that in mind it is very easy to get lost in your work it's very easy to just function and to just go to work every day wake up do it go home eat your dinner watch some TV or whatever you do and then go to bed and the next morning you get up again and everything's pushed to the weekends uh, fun and if you do anything during the day um, in the evening uh, you get less sleep and, and all this kind of stuff so it's really given me a lot of insight into it and so I want to let you know that if you are in a job position take a break take a break and actually reassess what is the default future that you're going to have? What is the default future? And that means if you keep doing what you're doing, you will have a default future. If you keep working at this place that you're working at right now, you will be working there maybe till you're 40, maybe till you're 50. You might burn out, you might not. Who knows? I don't know which position you are, but what is your default future if you don't change anything? And what is it you actually want to get out of this life? What is it you want? And I don't mean just from your head, like what has been suggested by media, like, oh, you know, have this super great boat and this huge mansion, whatever. All that stuff, there's not, absolutely nothing wrong with it. You can have that. That's fine. All right, what is it your heart desires? What is it that you deep down desire to have in your life? What is it you want to create in this life? What is it that you want to feel in this life? And that goes into the direction of the bucket list, you know, create something that you want to do with something that actually gives you energy and not draws away your energy. And don't limit yourself, don't think, oh, well, it's unrealistic to do this or that. Write it down, really, seriously. Wake up, fucking wake up and see what's possible for you in this life. Now, this is not a rant against a regular nine to five or nine to six or whatever your hours are job. They're great to have, they can, provide more security at the beginning before when you when you build your business for example right or if you're passionate about what you're, what you're doing maybe it's the perfect environment for you to be in so it's not I'm not bashing that a regular job is something bad absolutely not but I am suggesting and warning that there's a real danger to just slide down a path and you wake up 65 years later and you think, well, where the fuck has my life gone? And I don't mean my life in entire, because you still probably have like 20 or 30 years to live. But where's your youth? Where's the energy that you had before? Uh, why do you spend all that time in this job, you know? And to prevent waking up in that kind of circumstance, I am suggesting right now to take a break. And I don't mean just maybe sit down on a weekend, even though you can do that, but actually take longer time off, go on vacation and take that vacation not to, to to stay in the treadmill of oh yeah I need to recuperate and then and, and, and go to this, this thing because that's what people do and then go back to work but actually take a break and say stop stop what is it that I want in my life what do I want to create where do I want to be because the truth is if you don't change if you don't do anything about your life you just follow the path that you've been following so far you will end up in a place that might be not the place you imagine to be um, that having said, once you actually do take time, there is a way, there is absolutely a way out. There has been people, and there are people right now, building businesses online, building businesses offline, investing, all kinds of stuff that you can have more financial freedom to reduce your work time. 
and all this kind of stuff. So do not hesitate to write everything down and actually dream, dream big, dream what your heart desires. It comes from your heart, from your heart, feel into your heart, not just your mind. And I'm repeating myself right now, but it's such a vital, vital and important point. That's really all, but it's very close to my heart because I can see how easy it is to become a zombie and just function and be drained by, by some kind of system. And I don't, I don't think that's the life I would want to live. And I hope it's not the life that you want to live. Because there's so much more to give than to, just to function. And if you're in your job and you're thriving and you're loving it, hey, fantastic to you, absolutely great. If you like this video, share it, like it um, with your friends. Uh, subscribe if you like, there's some button around here. And I'll see you on the next video. Uh, take care, stay strong, keep an open heart. Thank you.